There once lived a man named Jacob who had 12 sons, but out of all his sons, Joseph was his favorite. One day Jacob gave Joseph a dazzling new robe. It was bright and colorful. It had all the colors of the rainbow on it, but it made Joseph's brothers jealous. They wanted nice new robes too. Then to make matters worse, Joseph began to have these special dreams. I dreamed I was the greatest. I was king, Joseph told his brothers. And all of you bow down to me. Now, Joseph telling his brothers about these dreams was not a good idea. It only made his brothers hate him even more. They wanted to kill Joseph and his dreams. And one day, that's exactly what they tried to do. They tore Joseph's colorful robe off of him and sold him to slave traders. The traders took him to the land of Egypt and made him into a slave. The brothers went home and lied to their father, telling him Joseph was dead. That's the end of that dreamer, they said, but they were wrong. God didn't want Joseph to be a slave. God had a plan to make all of his dreams come true. Meanwhile, though, things were not looking good for Joseph in Egypt. He was far from home and far from his dad. He was sold as a slave to a very rich man in Egypt. He was forced to work extremely hard, and he had to do a lot of chores that he really didn't want to do. But Joseph put on a smile and did it anyway. Joseph had to clean the house and feed all the different animals. The goats, the cows, the sheep, the camels. It was a stinky job. But Joseph did his work and he never complained. He never threw a fit. He never got mad. He always had a good attitude. Because Joseph always had a good attitude, he continued to get promoted. Until eventually he was in charge of all the slaves at the rich man's house. He was telling other people what to do. He didn't have to do all the stinky work anymore. But then one day, out of nowhere, he got blamed for something he didn't do. And even though he had done nothing wrong, he was punished and thrown into jail. The jail was dark, cold, and gloomy. It was a nasty place to be, especially for innocent Joseph. God didn't want him to be in jail, but the craziest thing happened. Even though Joseph was in jail, he still had a good attitude. The guards were shocked at how happy and nice Joseph was all the time. After a short while in jail, the guards began to like Joseph and were friends with him. Joseph chose to put on a smile and work very hard every day. And because of that, the guards made Joseph their right-hand man. Now Joseph was in charge of the entire jail. One night, Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, had a scary dream and he didn't know what it meant. But Joseph was a dream expert, so Pharaoh sent for Joseph to come immediately. He told the Pharaoh what the dream meant and what the Pharaoh needed to do to save his kingdom. The Pharaoh was so pleased with Joseph's skill that he immediately took him out of jail and made him a prince. Joseph was now in charge of the entire land of Egypt. God wanted him to live the sweet life, and that's exactly what Joseph was doing. Joseph knew how to obey the right way.